G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, Nathan and I have decided to send it super wide. I've been wanting to do this for so, so long and finally got the day, got the weather to do it. We've got to head back a little bit early just to be safe, but we're heading, whoa, we're heading to Rottnest Island. It's about 20, 25 Ks off the mainland from where we're from. Punched out, as you can see, the weather is absolutely perfect. So can't wait to get out there. The viz is insane too. Pity I can't swim, but man, am I keen. All right, let's go. Bitch, I got problems or problems or problems or problems or problems or problems that solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon it dummy. Cause bitch, I got problems or problems or problems or problems or problems or problems that solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Oh, look at that. Man. This is crazy. This is only the first location we've got to as well. Might just put this motor up. Oh, let's go have a bit of an explore on the beach, I reckon. Oh man, look at this! Well, we just wanted to get to the island just to suss it out really, but we're going to keep punching that way, do a bit more of a lap and see what we can find really, and hopefully we can get the drone up around there, because I tried to do it here and it's actually the aircraft, because there's an airport just somewhere over there or something, so better not do that. Anyway, we'll take you guys with us as usual. Not bad, not bad. Alright, put you guys here. Man, take a minute to appreciate this. It is unreal. Look at it. Oh. It's so clear as well. Alright, we're heading that way. Let's go. Well, for those who don't know, Rottnest was found in 1696 by a Dutch explorer named Willem. Willem originally named the island Ratsnest Island, and that is because when he first stepped foot on the island, he was treated with a colony of large rats. Well, that's what he thought they were anyway. These large rats are also known as corkers, and if you've been to Rottnest Island, I can guarantee you would have seen one. And if you haven't, search it up. They're pretty cool. Man, look at that. You can even see the fish down there. <laughs> Oh, what do you reckon? I reckon we try and get over this little island over here. Just got to try and navigate through all this stuff. It's so shallow. Since I'm not allowed in, I still want to test the GoPro. So I'm going to chuck it underwater and give you guys a bit of a look and see what this GoPro is capable of. Look at that guys, can you guys see him? Let's go. Oh, there's another one up here too. Hey mate, how's it going? Don't come down. He's actually coming down here. I didn't even know he was up there to be honest. What the hell? Hey mate. That is so, so cool. Hey, buddy, look at him. Hey, mate. What are you doing? So cool. This is that little island I was showing you guys that we came to before. It's so nice here, but... We found a mate. Man, the really, really annoying thing actually is... Can't even get the drone up here still because the airport's so close. It's so annoying because it would look unreal with the bird's eye right now, but... That's alright. Probably good just to leave this guy in peace anyway, because he's... He's living the dream, I reckon. Believe it or not, old mate actually got up this hill. I got no idea. Now he's going. Where are you going, mate? I don't even know how he gets up here. I can barely even get up here. That is crazy. So cool, though. 
Look at his little spot. This is where he's been sleeping, obviously. Where'd he go? Wow, have a go at that though. Absolutely unreal. He's got the boat down there. Looks like there's another little spot over there. They've actually got through the rocks. That is crazy, crazy stuff. There's our seal, mate, <laughs> going around there. You probably can't see him on the GoPro. Oh, there he goes. So cool though. This spot is absolutely unreal. Makes it worth, makes the trek out to Rotto actually worth it. This place is crazy. And if you haven't visited it yet, make sure you do, because it is unreal. Look at this. Oh. Water is so clear as well. How a seal got up here, I'll never know. Look at this. I'll take you guys down where we've actually got to go. Right. And you'll actually see how insane these seals are. This is where he was right here. And he somehow was up here. I got no idea. He came down this way as well. Look at that. That's a sheer cliff. Well, those animals are insane. And then his mate somehow was sitting up here. That's like a big step. So if I sit next to it, it's like pretty tall and it's launched off here and belly flopped oh man all right it's time to go for a swim it is stinking hot and there's not a breath of wind at the moment so let's get in the water Beachless. There is so many boats around here, but have a go at this water. It is honestly unreal. It's as good as Xmouth. I'll put it honestly. Oh my, I don't even know what to say. Thought it was fitting to bring some tin pineapple. We're gonna grill that up. Absolute tropical paradise. Pretty much think we're in Hawaii if I didn't tell you where we were. Bloody unreal. I really need to swim too because that sun is absolutely blistering. I'm gonna be so sunburned, actually insane that. Time to upgrade. Time for the bucket hat. Because last time I came out, I had a burn mark from where the hat was backwards between on my forehead and it was yeah, pretty embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> so nice, so nice, man. <laughs> Stop it. What do you reckon? Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Oh, man. Imagine not being able to put your head under. That is so depressing. It's important that I don't get my head wet because if I do, I could be in all sorts of strife. Which would be pretty funny. No, it wouldn't be pretty funny. I want to try and get this thing sorted so I can swim more in summer. Make you sweat like a fever. <laughs> well, we actually left the boat and we went in into the island, into the mainland there to try and get some food and the old footlong meatball sub does not get much better than that. We thought we'd just get food because me the idiot again, like last episode, I actually bought all this food and put the jerry can on top of it and it just crushed it to hell so we got no drinks no nothing it's just all the shamble but luckily we got the town here and to be honest it's pretty nice like to be able to experience that out there and then come in and have a nice meal it does not much, get much better than that oh look at that well like i said earlier it's about to blow up so we're gonna head in just to be safe we don't want to get caught out in the tinny because that would not be fun and we've had an absolute insane day so far so there's no point spoiling it but sit back relax and we'll take you guys for a ride for the journey home and if we see something i'll let you guys know
Well, what an absolute insane day it has been out in the water again. I clearly just wanted to put this bit in here and tell you guys that I do not recommend you guys heading to Rottnest Island on a tinny. Making sure you've done all the appropriate pre-checks, both your safety equipment and your boat is 100% essential. And also letting someone know where you're going is also really, really important. In saying that, this trip would be made so much easier with a bigger boat. What do you guys reckon? Is it time for me to upgrade? What sort of boat do you reckon I should buy? Is here though, how nice and blue is this? I'm gonna put his underwater, see if you can see him. So, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's actually all of this like sediment on the top of the water, and my only explanation for it is it's spawning time, so it's probably coral or weed or something like that. If you guys know what it actually is, please let me know because I'm super keen to find out. Actually, I'll show you guys a bit closer this year. It's, it's super weird. I'm not quite sure. I think, I think I must be on the right track, but if you guys know, please let me know. Well, we've made a little way in and it's about halfway. Stopped at the island. You guys would have seen I spent a lot of time at this island, but have a go at the boats here today. It is crazy. There is some absolute monsters. What do you reckon? Should I just get out a loan of like 100 mil and just send it by Super Yacht? The Nomads across the side. So we managed to get through all those people. It is absolutely packed out. I've never seen it like that before, but it is getting super windy. So we're going to head back. It's going to be a fair punch. Well, I think I'm going to call the episode here. We had an absolutely epic day in the water. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.